guys, so I wanted to film a full makeup look for you today. I did one last year, you guys loved it, so I wanted to do another one, but not with matte shades. I wanted to include some, some sparkle in your life. Um, again, I'm using dark lips. I'm thinking, so I want to do another full makeup tutorial, but more like orangey sort of things like without purples if you get what I mean but yeah I don't want to make it a long intro I hope you guys enjoy and yeah keep watching if you want to see this look okay so I've already done one eye because I didn't really know what I was doing with this look so I wanted to just practice it's not completely done obviously but I just wanted to get a rough idea of what I was doing so I'm going to take Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in the shade tan I'm going to use a Real Techniques what are you? Deluxe crease brush and apply this all over the lid. This is just going to be a base for the eyeshadow. I'm getting my beauty blender and patting that all in. I'm sorry that the lighting is shitty as well. It's raining outside, so. I'm going to be using the Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. And the first colour I'm going to be taking is Big Baby, which is just a flesh tone, brow bone sort of shade. I'm taking it on a fluffy brush and I'm going to apply this all over the lid, up to the brow bone. This is just to set the concealer. If I didn't set the concealer, it'd be a lot harder to blend the shadows on top of the concealer. I'm then going to take this shade here, which is called Natural Peaches. And I'm going to take that on, I don't know what this is, I'm sure it's a MAC 224 But it's, the wood has literally chopped, like, gone off Either a 224 or 217 But I'm just going to get that on a fluffy brush And start putting that in the crease This is just going to be a transition shade You want to make sure you tap off the excess as well So I just do it like that. Then I'm going to take this shade here, which is Dogman. I'm getting this on a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is an E40. So this shade is like a burnt orange, but more on the brown side. And I'm going to blend that in my outer corner and also blending it in the crease. I'm going to take the first brush that I used and blend it out more. Now I'm taking this shade, which is Man Cat. I'm getting this on a Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm blending this on the outer V. I'm really sorry that the lighting keeps dipping in and out bothering me but I can't control the lighting when, you, when I use natural lighting. So I'm basically doing what I did with Dogman in... I'm basically doing what I did with Dogman with Man Cat but the different brushes are going to make it go in different places so for Dogman, I used a fluffier brush and that would diffuse the colour more. This time I'm using more of a precise brush, so it's going to go in a different area. You want to just keep going in with the brushes that you've been using and blending it out because they've still got some of the old colour on. I'm going to take a normal flat brush, just any just small precise flat brush. And I'm taking one of Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows, this is Noir. It's just a matte black, you can use any matte black. And this is going to go near the lash line. And then getting pulled up and then sort of curving it in, in the outer corner, like this. And then you're taking the E25 again and blending that out. I'm then going to go in with Sweet Tea, which is here, on a MAC 286 and use this to blend the black out. I'm going to be using this sleek strobing souffle. This is a whipped cream highlighter in the shade 039. I'm just going to take some of that and put it on the back of my hand. 
like that. I'm gonna apply it with a Sigma concealer brush. This is the F70. Just apply that on the lid. Making sure you don't get it on the crease and only on the lid where you... I mean, unless you want it in the crease, but I don't. Then I'm taking this sleek makeup um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Rockstars collection, Hidden Gems. And it's got these really, really pretty glitter colors. Um, this is for their Christmas line, I'm sure. And I can see why it's so glittery. And I'm gonna take the gold color. And this is called Ruby Tuesday. Ooh, the sun's come out again. I'm gonna take it on the same brush and pat it over the lid. Going back in with my E25 again and just blending the colours out. I'm going to take this liquid eyeliner by The Balm. I'm just going to do my eyeliner how I'd normally do it. So I've used these already, which is why they're not looking as fresh, but these lashes are from Tarte and they are called Goddess. And these are lashes I'm going to be using today. They're so pretty. They've only just come out with them. The glue I'm using is the Huda Beauty glue. I'm using the Marc Jacobs primer. NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Syracuse. I'm not going to go into detail with my face makeup, by the way. I don't feel like it's necessary because I'm using the same products that I usually use, but I will show you regardless what products I'm using. I applied too much foundation. <laughs> Get a beauty blender and, you know. You know the drill. Of course, going to be using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. skin looks weird today. I think it's because I applied too much foundation. And my face don't need that, but we all make mistakes. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking Tarte Shape Take Concealer again in the shade Tan on my under eyes. I used this for the first time because I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat. If you do, you will know that I went to Italy with Tarte and it was such an amazing trip, it was so special. I can't believe how well a brand treated us. It's like insane. This is one of the things we got gifted with and I love it so much. Yeah, Italy was amazing. Oh, I'm blending it with a beauty blender. Um, yeah, Italy was amazing. Like I'm so grateful I vlogged it and I'm gonna edit it, see what it's like, and I might put it up. I feel like it'll be quite choppy and just random, but we'll see. But honestly, it was amazing. The girls I met were so, so lovely. And yeah, it just, just unreal. Like actually, too good for words. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Tart. You the best. Baking with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I really need to get some actual lighting now because obviously natural lighting isn't working for me anymore, which is sad because I really like using natural lighting, but I can't keep having it dip in and out. It will drive me insane. So whilst that's settling in, doing its thing, I feel like a scratch record because I do this all the time. But I honestly, I get complaints because everyone says I use the same thing quite a lot. But let's be real. You don't have to use what I'm using. Plus, if I'm using the same things quite often, that means that like cutting costs down if you guys want to buy what I use because at least I'm using the same thing. You don't have to go out and buy loads of stuff, you know? Now I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium to tan, this is my fave. And I'm gonna be using the two darkest shades, mix them both together to, not contour, just darken up my life. Just in a way with the Real Techniques setting brush.
I forgot to highlight my brow bone. I'm using Gator Wings in the eyeshadow palette I was using on a E55. I'm just going underneath the brow bone. Blush, I'm using Raisin by MAC on a Sigma F10 powder blush brush. Using Maybelline's Master Strobing Stick in Nude Glow on a Sigma F60 brush. This is the foundation brush, but I don't like to apply it from the tube. I feel like it takes my foundation off a bit when I do that. Um, this is just a base for my highlighter. I think my highlighter applies better when I use like a cream or liquid product first. I'm going to use um, Gator Wings again as a highlight for my cheeks. I don't know how this is going to go down. The lighting is taking the piss out of my life right now, but you can see it good. It's pretty, I really like that. I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to take the same Gator Wings shadow and put it on my cupid's bow. Do I do it in my inner corner? In my inner corner, I'm going to mix Gator Wings and Sassy Bun. Because I feel like Gator Wings is... It's not gold enough. Yeah, that's good. It wouldn't be gold enough for what I'd want. It'd be more like silvery. So underneath my eyes, I'm going to use Man Cat again on the E25. Taking Dog Man again on the E40. Make sure you tap this off and also apply it underneath. Using Black Magic Mascara by Ico. I'm going to use a white eyeliner. This is by MAC. Ideally, I would like a nude one, but I don't know where my nude eyeliner has gone. I've got a few others, but they're not... I don't really like them that much, so I'm just going to take a white and put this in my waterline. should have done this before I put mascara on. I'm going to apply some more mascara because the eyeliner went on it. I'm going to take the slip liner by MAC. This is called Nightcrawler. And I'm going to fill my lips in with this. I'm going to sort of leave the centre. I'm going to take this metallic lipstick by Sleek. This is called Superstar. It's super pretty. And then, of course, like always, I'm going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus because I can't live without this stuff. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I am really, really sorry about the lighting. It was dipping in and out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, uh, share, comment, all that good stuff. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.